Good morning, happy new year and welcome back to my channel. New year, same garden, still not done. So we're gonna ignore that mess. But new year, new me, I'm going to make some bone broth. Hence all of this behind me. I got all of this out last night with the intention to get up this morning. I've just been to a Pilates class and after Pilates, make some bone broth with some bones that we have and a chicken, laugh we don't just casually have bones in the house, like chicken and bones. I'm gonna basically leave it to simmer and make hopefully a really good bone broth. I've never made bone broth before. But before I do that, we are actually heading over to Harrods. This was absolutely not the plan. I did not plan on spending my first day of the new year at Harrods, but my phone has actually broken. I woke up and my phone basically said, WhatsApp can't work because you don't have enough storage, please delete some stuff. So I deleted loads of stuff. And then my phone just wouldn't turn back on. And I do have enough storage. So I think my phone's faulty. It's been a little bit faulty since I bought it in November. But it's one of those things that is like, you know, I didn't really have time to go and get it replaced. And life just got ahead of me and things were busy. So my mum was like, your phone didn't know that it was the start of the new year. Your phone hasn't just combusted because it's the start of the new year. But I'm actually seeing it as a good thing. I needed to get a new phone anyway. Because this phone, since the day I had it, has been faulty. So... I'm not starting the year on a negative note because it means we get to go and do some sale shopping in Harrods. I'm hoping it's gonna be empty. In fact, maybe Harrods isn't open till 11. I'm hoping it's gonna be super empty because who in their right mind is going shopping on the first day of the year? Probably a lot of people actually. So hopefully the Knightsbridge store allows me to go and get this phone. I've just called them and they do have it in stock. If not, we're gonna to have to head over to Battersea because it might be a little bit quieter. But she's got frizzy hair again, same year but same me, and yes, I have all of these manifestations and plans that I wanna do this year, but they're gonna be on pause just for today. <laughs> today was my organization day. Make lots of nice healthy snacks for the week ahead, but it's fine, we can move that to tomorrow because the priority right now is going and getting a fixed phone. I'm just wondering if I should at least put the things on the hob. I really don't think I can put the things on the hob while I'm out. That is a recipe for disaster and we don't want to burn the house down. So no, I'm gonna be really sensible. I'm gonna be a sensible Susan, and I'm going to do that when I'm back. So, headband is on to protect from the, you know, mess of the frizz. I'm gonna pop a coat on, and then we're gonna to go to Harrods. The shop. I always like this shop. <gasps> Look, they have a New York one. Obviously it's closed because it's New Year's, but I always walk past this shop and think it's so nice. Look at these. I absolutely love this Chanel store on Walton Street. I'm not into purple, but I do like a black classic flat, but not purple. They're going very New Year's Eve still. I can't go past here and not go and get a fresh juice. One of our New Year's resolutions is to drink more water. It's my New Year's resolution every single year. And another New Year's re resolution was to not spend money in January. What does she do? She goes and gets a juice. I literally failed at the first hurdle, but I did say to Matt, I'm allowed to buy things that are to do with health, well-being, wellness, to this count. So instead of it being a no spend month, it's a lower spend month, it's a money saving month. But I basically got watermelon juice, which has so many health benefits apparently. And then they added in ginger for me and mm, needed. Starting the year strong with Pilates, a broken iPhone and a ginger and watermelon juice. Some things never change. Since this hot chocolate stall opened behind Valentina, I've never come and they're not being a line. There's always such a long line for it, even on New Year's Day.
You can basically get pink hot chocolates from it, but even when I come right at opening, there's always a huge line, so I still haven't tried one. Oh, wow. They do crumble as well. Okay, we're going to the Apple store first. So I think I have a fixed phone, maybe. Who knows, we've done a software update. So let's see what happens with that. And now Harrod's time. I have a beauty cell on in here. I remember when Matt accidentally smashed my one of these on holiday. So good. This is one of the best face oils ever. I absolutely love it. And it's actually on sale. Not on sale. How cute is this baby Celine? Oh my gosh, are the fragrances. Oh my gosh, Matt, look how nice the baby Celine is. always like looking at Canada Gooses. I actually love the ones that are like this shiny colour. Oh look, this is your one, Matt. Or similar. Girls version. Basically, I really want one with a hood. I actually have this one, but mine doesn't have a hood on it. And I really need a hooded version. I like this one, but it doesn't have a hood. These aren't actually on sale. And then I have this one in the longer version. All white for spring, it's coming. We have Sandro 50% off sale. I do like Sandro coats. Such good quality. This is so nice. I haven't bought any Sandra really since when we went to LA and I bought that gorgeous white dress. This is lovely. Matt thinks Sandra is a little bit overpriced for what it is. Yeah, see, I always think the quality is really good, but like, that's 389. It is definitely premium. Everything is always very expensive, which is why it's best to buy it in a sale or in outlets. I do love the kind of Parisian style of it. This is so cute. I always fall in love with the full price stuff. This is absolutely gorgeous. The brand is Claude. Oh, oh no, Joseph is the brand. That is stunning. I love the color. Why does a Sandro? There's always a Marsh. Gosh, this coat is really nice. I like this one. That's reduced to 339. That's really chic. And they also have a longer version of it as well. Coats in Marge are honestly so good. Oh, uh, this was on my wish list. Now it's on sale. So there's 30% off it and it's 1,200. You can actually get a mango dupe of that. Do you like this fluffy pink coat or is it too much like an off stretch? Oh my God, it's so cute. I don't need any more fluffy coats, but I love it. This is similar to the one that I'm wearing right now, actually. Oh my gosh, this is literally identical to the one I'm wearing. Oh my gosh, you've got a whole ski section since I last came. <gasps> this is so exciting. So I'm more of a neutral ski kit girl and Matt always tells me that it's cooler to wear bold colors. Our friend actually has a gold ski jacket and she looks so good in it. <gasps> oh my gosh, they have a full pink ski suit. That is so cool. Quite like the purple as well, actually. We're in ski heaven. No, look at this. That is so cool, this one. It's such a nice material. What brand is that perfect moment? That's why it's so nice. How cool is that? 
Oh, my favorite ski stuff. You know ski season's here when Harris literally get rid of all the party wear dresses and just put loads of ski things here. So I actually bought this on sale last year. I need to reorder and get the right size. So cool. I love these ski suits. I definitely want to get this, but they're just so expensive. No, I don't even see a sale. I thought that they might have a little sale on, but I don't see one in store, sadly. I saw that they had a really nice LA jumper online on sale. It was like yellow. Last year, I managed to get a really good deal on self-portrait. Last year, I got such a good deal on the self-portrait sale. Oh, Matt's just found the Anina Bing on sale. So they have this like huge sale section. Oh my gosh. They've got all the party dresses on sale. This is so nice. Wow. It's actually really similar to the dress I wore on my birthday. Oh, I love this. Farm Rio. I really want something from this brand. They have some Arge on sale. It's one of my favorite Australian designers. So everything's on sale, but there's no prices on anything. So I'm literally looking at everything and I cannot find a single price, but they do have some gorgeous things. Ah, oh, I found a price. This was reduced to 97. Yay. I actually found a price. The New Zealand thread sale. Oh my gosh, this is stunning for summer. Great time to get summer pieces. I absolutely love this one as well. How gorgeous. They basically have lots of sparkly pieces as well. They're reduced to about £200, so they're still expensive, but absolutely gorgeous. These are the only things I can actually see prices on, though. The needle and thread pieces. I got a really good deal in Harrods last year on self-portrait, um, so it's always nice to have a look at their sales. £126 from £420. That is absolutely amazing. I always find it so worth coming to their hair and self-portrait sale. I actually ordered this from last year. It was a little too small for me, but I love it. I wish this was on sale. This is so stunning. I love that so much. These pieces are all on sale, but sadly nothing in my size. Like this is a hundred pounds. That is so good, but not in my size. This is absolutely stunning with the feathers at the bottom. Wow. Let's see what brand this is. Gorgeous. We are now in Lens. Matt actually never chose a Christmas present, so maybe he's gonna get a Christmas present today, even though it's January. Mm, you could choose a nice pair of shoes, something that's like a forever. I know you want a coat, but a nice pair of shoes. Oh, well, the budget doesn't quite stretch that much this year, darling. He's found Tom Ford, 204 from 680. That's actually really good. I mean, I don't think you'd pay that much for it, but it's very good. Oh, sale. Our farm. This is the bit that you like with all the like contemporary brands, isn't it? And a lot of these bits are on sale. Oh, they have Sandro Men's on sale as well. Oh, I like that jumper. Look how nice the pattern is on that frame. We like frame, don't we? That's lovely. That's really nice. This is so cool for summer. Very bold coloured cap. So they do like a unisex Ritz collection and they do the most amazing jumpers. And the brand is called Frame and every year I try to see if it's on sale. 
and I haven't seen it on sale as of yet. I just absolutely love these. I just think these pieces are stunning. 340 for the jumper. But they do like a knitted jumper and it's just amazing. Really need to get my hands on it. Everything's just so comfy and lovely. Ah, here we go. I want this in cream. Let's see how much. 575 for the one I want. I have expensive taste. This is where all the kind of street style brands for him are. These ones aren't on sale. But it's just such a cool area to shop in. These ones in the middle, so they kind of have like sections on sale. I'm so sad that the frame jumper isn't on sale. Every year I check. Oh, they do have some shoes on sale, Mac. Did you must said? So this was Uggs then on sale. It's not. It just looks similar. It's a lot. I do love that. It's really nice. I've never seen men's Louisville before. Oh my gosh, again, I absolutely love these sweaters. I always love these designers that I personally never heard of. Yeah. Wow. Why don't you try it? You want a jacket? <laughs> Matt wants all the jackets, but <laughs> everything he wants is so expensive. Yeah, I don't know if you look more like a sheep or a sofa or it doesn't feel very nice. He's found some jackets. Oh, it's very silver. Oh, try it on. Try it on, that's amazing. You should try it on because that's a really good saving. Matt's definitely on the coat hype today. Oh, this is quite nice. Silver. Tom Ford Siders. Oh my god, they are so cool, no? Do you know what nice? I've never seen Tom Ford Siders. in a size 7. I'm tempted to get these actually. I might get these for summer. Oh, do they have marks on them or would they give me new ones? That's a really good price. It's not my size but it doesn't matter if they're a little bit too big. A little bit too big on my feet actually. Oh, we found a jacket. Um, this is the brand that does ski suits as well, actually. Interesting. Maybe they might have some more sizes if they ask them. I didn't get the Givenchy sandals, guys. They were too big. I thought a seven might work, but they were too big. And they were also men's, but they would have worked uni size. That's lovely. I love this brand for jackets. I'm literally obsessed with them. I like the Ritz ones. No, look at that. Yeah, Matt was just like, you need to look at women's contemporary. I was like, we've already done that. Girls get a whole floor of super brands. Oh my gosh. Look at this coat. This is like the dreamiest coat ever. Yeah, there's a whole floor for women's super brands in Harrods. These are really high on my wish list, but I don't know if they're actually something that I'd wear all the time or if I'm just being silly. But I just think they're so gorgeous. What do you think, Matt? Mm -hmm. This is 
a lot of feathers around at the moment. Oh my gosh, are these pajamas? This is like the sleeper set up, it's Gucci. I don't like the red, but I do like the pajamas. I think I prefer them in pink, but they're so nice. You should get a coat like this. I love that so much. I just love the Gucci logo. Gucci ready to wear, party wear. How sparkly, wow. I'm so obsessed with anything miniature. This is absolutely divine, how gorgeous. Matt doesn't like it, let me guess, because it's sparkly. I bet that's why you don't like it. Uh, the wood. I do like these cardigans. I'm not really into cardigans, but if I was, these are gorgeous. They've got so many nice, like, winter things. Josie has the most amazing reversible Gucci coat, and it's honestly the coat of my dreams. I told her if she ever gets rid of it, I need it. If this had gold hardware, wow, that Gucci coat is boucle. It's got the Gucci logo. Imagine if that had gold hardware. How gorgeous. This one with gold hardware as well, so special. This is cool, it looks more like the Coach logo, but it's actually Gucci. It's a good G logo with this underneath, love. Absolutely love this. So gorgeous, if this was in brown, that would be perfect. I tried something really similar at this bit. it was more of a cape, this is more of a coat. Gosh, that's amazing. Okay, Gucci clothes might be my favorite clothes ever. Look at the skirt, everything is just so cute. Even the Gucci shirt with like the Gucci detailing, how stunning. Oh my gosh, it has glitter in it. Oh my gosh, Tom Brown have a dog bag. <gasps> is that not the cutest bag you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh my god, it's so fluffy. Is it a dog or a sheep? I don't know, but it's cute. I have this one as well. How amazing. I kind of want to try some of the sunglasses in some other colours because I'm so obsessed with mine and to try some different colours. I don't think they suit me in full white actually. I've decided I look like Willy Wonka. I prefer my ones. I love the classic black but oh my gosh they have a pink one. This is the one that I love but they have a pink one. How nice. Are we too late? Have we missed everything? That is the question. Matt absolutely loves this place, M. Sharif. They actually have one upstairs. They do such a good Lebanese food. It's expensive, but it's really good. I get dumplings from here so often. The dumplings are really, really good in here. And Matt was just saying he absolutely loves the wraps. Our sweet is my favourite. We've got loads of sandwiches left. I was quite disappointed at the sandwich last time though. Oh, that looks good though, the chicken palm. But, oh, the chicken sandwich katsu looks good. But I remember like the bread wasn't that great in here. This is where we find the Christmas things on sale. Oh my gosh, mince pies, six pounds. And they don't actually run out until February, which is quite good if you're a mince pie lover. They also have Christmas cakes. Oh my gosh, from 45 pounds to 11 pounds, no way. I just checked, it's because they run out in January. That is so good though. You're having like a late Christmas party. They literally have up to 70% off their food, including all of the Christmas puddings. Let's see how much they actually are, the figgy pudding. Uh, oh, this one doesn't go out of date until July, which is actually really good. Can't see any prices, but yeah, this is really, really great. 
No way, even the Harrods Bears are on sale. I was just thinking I wonder why then I realized it says 2023 on it. But oh my gosh, they're so cute. These ones are reduced to 12.50. I would still not be mad if someone got me this as a gift. They last until Jan. So actually, there's really not long on it. But you could get it for someone in a hamper and give it to them like in January, I guess. I really like these. I don't know why I thought that they were less sugar, but I actually don't think they are. I think they're just dairy free, but they're really delicious and they're handmade in London. So at this time, they just fasten everything up right before closing so people can take it away. They look quite sad in there. This is the, the best sale. So this is all of the Christmas sale for food, I guess. We've got dates, oh my gosh off dates no way what kind of dates mixed dates assorted this is so exciting that is such a me gift i love dates even the teas are on sale wow breakfast tea i'm gonna look at the dates for these these don't go out of date until 2025 oh my gosh that's amazing i'm tempted to stock up on some of these as gifts for people next year <laughs> All of the chutneys are 25% off as well. This one has 2024 on him. Ah, it's because it's a New Year's biscuit and again, it goes out quite early. But how fun. Oh look, they have the Harrods Biscuitier Gingerbread Palace. I really wanted this, but it was so expensive. The date on this one, oh, Seb, again, really not that bad. You could definitely give that to someone as a winter gift. Christmas cakes again, this is so exciting. Amazing. Oh my gosh, look how nice these honeys are. Christmas fruit and nut honey. I never even saw these at actual Christmas time. How gorgeous. Gosh, I wonder if Ladderack have a sale on now. That would be a literal dream. <gasps> Does this mean that they've already got Valentine's stuff? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh no, this one's broken. This is my first time seeing Ladderack popcorn. I think that is my actual dream popcorn. Oh, they do smaller ones as well. It seems like Ladderack have flipped to Valentine's Day very quickly. How gorgeous. Chocolate teddy bear. Very excited for Valentine's Day already and it's only January. Matt just clocked the dates, we're getting hungry and he was like, look, they have dates here. I was like, yep, they're really good. Look at them. Mm, I usually actually get it from William Curry in the middle. Um, but this one also does dates, but 15 pounds for four. The other one you can kind of just buy one. I mean, you can buy one here as well, it is per 100 grams, but look how amazing. They're delicious. But I do also make my own at home. Oh, here they are, all three of them together. Gosh, I love these bags so much. I just want this one with a larger gold strap. So 
so we were going to eat at Harrods and then we were going to go to Marouche which is literally one of our favourite Lebanese's but honestly we were like let's just order it, it's so much easier Maybe we'll head in here for some early dinner back where we started at Jack's because it's just so easy to get delicious food here and it doesn't take too long Pasta, chicken milanese delicious okay that food was so good jack's cafe is amazing it's really funny because jack's is actually like a club that we go to well we were we did go quite a lot pre-pandemic and that's like their cafe version i actually got my watermelon juice earlier from there and then we had dinner there which was so nice now i'm gonna go home and finish a bone broth so carousel was really good um they actually had the food stuff was really good the clothes oh i really wanted some of the self-portrait <laughs> stuff but sadly they didn't have my size what did you think i thought it was a good sale in harrods i know it's really nice bits in there some of it some really good discount. Yeah, I thought so. Few it's I liked were just super expensive. Yeah, obviously Matt's got expensive taste, but the food stuff was good. But then the two brands that Matt was looking for, they actually no longer stock in Harrods, so he didn't get a Christmas present. So maybe next Christmas you can have one. <laughs> Everything on the phone is re-uploading, so let's see how we get on. I am home, I am back after a very impromptu Harrods trip. The hair is not herring. I'm gonna now try and make this broth. So I was actually watching some videos whilst I was out and about to try and figure out how to do it. It seems that you just kind of get the chicken bones, you get some water. I'm gonna put some stock in there as well, maybe some like um, vegetable stock or something in there. And then garlic, carrots, whatever kind of veggies you have, celery, anything like that, and then just let it simmer. The things online use like hot pots and say honestly do it for like 24 hours. I'm wondering if I should do it in my Thermomix instead because it's probably gonna be better at steaming. I did want to do it in like the traditional big pot. I think I might actually try my Thermomix. Let's get everything out and see. I found a turmeric chicken bone broth recipe and as much as there's a lot of these things I don't have, like I don't have 100 grams of brown onion, I'm going to basically use this just to kind of do the heating of it and the simmering, simmer it for two hours and then I'm going to move it onto my hob so it simmers for even longer. That is the plan. So let's try this. Okay, so the only things from the recipe that I didn't have were onion and also celery. So I've popped cabbage and sprouts instead. And then we've got some carrots in there and some turmeric and some garlic paste. So that's now all being chopped for me. It smells delicious. I really don't think you meant to put Brussels sprouts and cabbage in here, but honestly, vegetables are vegetables and I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. I've actually saved half of the cabbage and some of the Brussels sprouts to make a green soup with later in the week because I made one after Christmas. I did peas, cabbage and sprouts and Matt said it was his favourite soup I've ever made. He'll see it on a vlog. So yeah, I need to do that again. So I'm saving half of that deliberately to make a nice thick creamy green soup. And now I need to add one dried bay leaf, which I don't have. So I'll add something else in its place. Whole black peppercorn. So I'll just add some pepper and then I'm gonna add my chicken, not chicken wings. I'm just gonna add my chicken. So let's do this. I'm gonna actually add this chicken chip salt from the Cornish Sea Salt Co. Honestly, amazing salt and this is so delicious and it's chicken so should be good in a chicken broth. No waste here, I'm literally adding the entire chicken in. The only thing I didn't really have was the bay leaf. Then it needs 900 grams of filtered water. This is gonna cook for 60 minutes and then I guess I'm just gonna leave it on my hob for ages. This has been on for an hour 30. So I'm now going to transfer it into a simmer pot and I'm just going to leave this on a low heat and let this simmer for ages and I'm going to sieve it and then we should be ready. So I'm just going to add a little bit more salt, I've given it a little stir. Okay, it's a fair few hours late now and the broth 
is still brothing. So I did an hour and a half inside the Thermomix and now it's been on here for probably three hours on top. So about four and a half hours. Matt just tasted it and said it definitely tastes like a broth. So I feel like I've done quite a good job. There are two ways to, well, there's probably loads of ways you can eat it, but my mom basically said you can either use like some of the broth and blend it with vegetables and stuff like that. And then it's like a creamy kind of soup, or well not a creamy soup, a thicker soup, but with all the goodness of the broth in it as well. Or I can just um, kind of have it as like the broth. So get a sieve, get rid of all the bones. That bit scares me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, but then it's just gonna be like a traditional broth, which is what I personally like to eat. Um, there is room in life for a chunky soup. I've been making a lot of those recently, so I wanted to more do like a broth. Um, so I think we're going to get some sourdough to go with it. We usually get a sourdough delivery, but over Christmas and New Year, they stopped with the sourdough deliveries. So we're going to get some sourdough and I think I'm going to leave it as long as possible, but it is tasting really, really good. So probably about an hour, but basically the longer you leave it, the tastier it gets. I did read online, tips are the higher the heat, it kind of gets rid of all of the collagen and all of the goodness. So you're not meant to have it too hot. So it's just on a number three, which is like a simmer. It's not bubbling. It's just... I mean, it's not even simmering. Maybe it is, maybe that is a simmer. It's not bubbling or cooking, and it's just in the pot, keeping all the goodness. From Harrods to broth, this has been quite the um, diverse vlog. <laughs> Hello from a very tired M. The soup is souping, and I think we'll probably have that for lunch tomorrow. Makeup is off, I've just had a little shower, but I actually think I'm gonna pop a hair mask in even though I just had a shower but my face is so sore at the moment I don't know if anyone remembers but basically last year I got really bad dermatitis I went to the doctors my eyelids and my under lip was just so sore from the weather and it actually happened in January and it's January now and oh my gosh I've taken my makeup off because my face is in so much pain. I have a steroid cream from the doctor that I don't really like to use, but I've put a little bit of it under my lip just to stop the pain, and I'm just so sore. Even though I put so much moisturiser on my face when we went out today, my face is just straw. Don't it? It's just straw? Dry. Maybe it's like stress mixed with lack of sleep, mixed with the weather, I don't know, but like my face hurts. Like it feels like it's cracked, but it doesn't look dry. It actually doesn't feel dry at all. So I just moisturize my body after my shower. I actually found this online with 40% off, like a smaller version. So if you want it, check the description box. I'm gonna link it below because I am here, one of the New Year's resolutions. She's moisturizing the body. She is moisturizing the body. And yeah, my hair's really annoying me. So I'm also going to put some hydration into my hair. I actually, got this gifted and I'm so excited to use it because I love it. It's like a hair smoothie that Garnier do, but this one is different. I love it because it's got no silicone in it, so it's good, but this one, two times less visible spit ends, vegan, 99% biodegradable formula, organic pineapple, but it sounds amazing. Um, my hair's feeling very dull right now and this is for dull hair, so big jar tub is going on the hair and then I think I'm gonna just have to put, even though I've done the steroid cream, I think I'm gonna put a face mask on my face, like something nice and hydrating. Ooh, maybe this marshmallow moisture mask, indie beauty, just something hydrating. Um, and I'm just gonna sit and fester for the rest of the evening with hair mask on, my body moisturizer and my face mask on. That is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to end this vlog here, but thank you for coming shopping with us in Harrods. Matt didn't find a Christmas present, so Matt is still on the lookout for a Christmas present. I did order him some stuff actually in the sale from the Outnet that he thinks he might like. Um, but yeah, we just didn't have time over Christmas really to get Matt, I mean, Matt did get presents from me, but he didn't get like his official present. I need to wash this mirror as well. Yeah, he didn't get his official present, so he still needs to choose the official present. Um, so yeah, I will let you know on that. But if you made it this far, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you did make it this far, comment below and let me know this January, do you have any goals? Like I asked on Instagram, are you doing dry January? Are you doing wet January? Are you doing damp January? Are you doing no spend January? One of my friends was like, I'm doing spend everything January. Are you booking trips this, this January? What are you like doing this January? I feel like a lot of people 
that I follow at least doing like dry January so they don't drink alcohol this month or some people are like January is a really dull month I'm gonna like treat myself to wine in a little trip away I'm doing hydrate the skin the face and the hair January that's what I'm doing and I went to Harrods to try and spend some money January but my boyfriend didn't like anything well actually he did he liked a lot of the things but Matt just has very expensive taste so yes thank you for coming along with us my face is in quite a lot of pain now so I'm actually gonna go um and sort the pain out but I will see you on the next one and I love you lots for being here come say hi on Instagram all my love